There may be times when you want to add video content from outside of Timer Pro. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to insert just a few rows here. And I'm going to double click on the column D where the videos are looking for. And it's going to prompt me to look for a video file. So we actually give you some samples. You can find them in the library's documents, Applied Computer Services, the name of our company. And then down here you will find some samples. So I'm going to use one of these videos here as a sample here. So I'm going to look, pick up the, uh, let's see, the tear down this MPG file. It loads up the video and then I can play the video from here. So I can browse through the video, I can stop it, I can drag to a particular position, play it. So let's say I'm looking for, I know I'm looking for something here, and here's the stop man coming in here. And I want to time the time for him to pull this cage onto the trolley. Right here is where I'm going to start this. He's going to lead over. I'm going to start time here. I'm going to switch to the stop time. I play it now. And when he's got it loaded onto the trolley, I'm going to drop it right about there. That's the end of it right there. And I'm going to say this is going to be load cage to trolley. Give it a description. And then I click on the save. And what it does is it makes space for the new entry and it plus it adds the appropriate sections here. So you can see here's my activity, here's where I can put anything I want, here's my time. And over here I've got all the same features I had in the other area here. So what we want to do now, we can go and play this now. So we've added a new section here. Uh, we can put the time in here. You can see it's nine seconds for this. So it's going to play this for 10 seconds. Then it's going to switch to this and then it will go on to the next one here. And it's going to pick up the same information, the activities and the time data directly from the new information collected from the new entry. So I click here and I click on the play. Here's the first one. Here's the new data that I just created. And then it's back onto the normal area here. So what we've shown you here, you can actually add additional steps here. If you want to add a video, you can type it right in here. If you want to add a video, you just double click here. You select the video, select the piece of the video you want, and it will automatically create the entry for you here. So it's been added directly into your storyboard. And you can also come in here, double click, and play it directly back from the template area of the storyboard as well.